بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه. The celebration of Christmas is not the celebration from the religion of Christianity, neither from Jesus himself. This celebration started in Rome. In 336, it was made official because it was the feast celebrated of the sun god, Dies Natalis Solis Invictus. And it was made official in 336 years after Jesus as the commemoration of the sun god, Saturnalia. And this is also recorded in Encyclopedia Britannica. This was the origin of the feast that is called Christmas on 25th of December. And this celebration involved paganism. As we know, other Christian denominations and churches do not believe and do not practice this pagan festival. For example, Jehovah Witnesses, they don't celebrate Christmas and they don't involve in any of its feasts, neither do they wish Merry Christmas, Happy Christmas, or eat anything associated with it. Other churches also do not accept any gift from other Christians on the 25th of December due to the pagan origin of Christmas, like Deep Alive Church, like Seventh-day Adventist Church, because of the pagan origin of Christmas. Why do Muslims involve in getting something prepared for that 25th of December as a gift from Christians or even wish them Merry Christmas. This is support of the belief that God Almighty beget a son, which is heinous crime in the fold of Islam. Allah wants us, and he is telling us in the glorious Quran, in Surah Maryam, chapter 19, verse number 88 to 92, when Allah says, وَقَالُوا اتَّخَذَ الرَّحْمَنُ وَلَدَ And they said, the most merciful has begotten a son. لَقَدِّيْتُمْ شَيْعًا إِدَّا Most subtly they brought the heinous, most heinous crime, most heinous thing. تَكَادُ السَّمَاوَاتُ يَتَفَطَّرْنَا Heavens are ready to burst. وَتَنْشَقُلْ عَرَضُ And the earth to clove a thunder. وَتَخِرُ الْجِبَالُ حَدَّ And the mountains to destroy themselves in utter ruin. Due to this statement of associating God Almighty with the Son, God Almighty is one. This is the first and foremost thing that God Almighty called us to call our brethren on, especially those given the book, Christians and Jews, as mentioned in Surah Al-Imran, chapter 3, verse number 64, Allah says, قُلْ يَا أَهْلَ الْكِتَابِ تَعَالَوْا إِلَىٰ كَلِمَةٍ سَوَاءٍ بَيْنَنَا وَبَيْنَكُمْ Say, O people of the book, come to common terms, that is, uh, to believe in the one and only God, that is the common term between us and the Jews and Christians. We know in the Bible, there are many verses that suggest and affirm the oneness of God, especially in the Old and New Testament. In the Old Testament, we know in the book of Exodus, chapter number 20, verse number 2 to 5, in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 5, verse number 7 to verse 9, and in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 6, verse 4, God Almighty said he is one, he has no likeness, he has no associates, he is one and only God, 
and he doesn't forgive he doesn't forgive those who associate partners to him likewise in islam allah says in chapter number 5 surah maida verse number 72 and 73 those who associated others to allah to god almighty they will not be forgiven and fire is their dwelling place they will be uh, casted into fire due to this heinous crime of associating partners to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala muslims have to be careful because even some of the scholars they don't dig inside the scriptures of christians neither do they do any research to bring out the origin or to know more about the origin of christmas and other holidays that are associated with paganism and associating partners to god may allah forgive our shortcomings may allah guide us to the truth may allah guide our christian brethren to the truth wa akhiri da'wana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin